Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. So, a lot of people have been asking when the shirts are going to be on the website. And they are finally on the website. You have the black Bertrand 850 with the ZR1 side view. You also have the truck front view uh, with Bertrand 850 underneath. And also, you have the white shirts in the same design. So they're finally up. I'll put the website right here and also put the link in the description to these. Um, so go check them out. Also, thank you guys so much for all the key tags you guys have bought. Uh, I really appreciate that. All the profit from these shirts and the key tags will go right back into this channel to try to make this channel better and better. And you know, that's the goal. I want to see how big we can get this thing. So uh, thank you guys so much. So I want to do a oil change on the truck today. I want to show you guys what, I'm, what I use and I want to show you guys what I bought to kind of make it uh, you know, a less messy job, I guess you could say. So, all right, guys, so I want to go grab the oil here in the house. I'm going to show you guys what I got in here. So, people were asking me what oil I use, and I use AMS oil. I use the 15W40 heavy duty diesel oil, and the filter I use is the EAO52. And it says it's 25,000 mile change intervals. Um, I don't do that, I believe I change them every 10,000, which is fine. Uh, around every 10,000 usually usually I change it on the third oil change somewhere around there so alright guys so what I was going to show you is right here it's going to make oil changes much easier it's the uh, engine oil drain valve Fumoto makes it and uh, what's cool is you just screw it on where your drain plug would be it's got, it's got another gasket that's stuck up and you can see it right there but um, it makes it easy so you just have to switch, flip the valve to drain your oil there's a clip that wraps around right here and it holds it in place so it can't move on its own or it won't move if a stick hits it or something. And so, I'm go warm the truck up, get the oil warmed up a little bit, that way it can drain easier. Up the hose and try to get all the sand I can see off underneath the truck while this thing's idling and warming up for the oil change. All right guys, so as you can see, I may have missed a few spots at the car wash. All right guys, so this is pretty much what you need. It doesn't hurt to have paper towels because the oil is messy. Um, especially if you're using a regular drain plug but I'm gonna try to solve that with this hopefully this thing works good um, I use a small funnel like this um, this is the new oil filter so that will be after I'll show you guys that uh, we gotta take the old joint drain plug out take that drain it into that and then put the new the new uh, drain valve in fill the truck up and uh, we'll be good to go broke it loose all right so this is near impossible to do without getting somewhat messy and uh i'm probably an idiot for doing this right in the middle of my driveway but i don't care all right open this up just gonna relieve the pressure so it'll flow better that's good oil filter wrench i'm gonna pull the old one off with it i'm not gonna put the new one on with it because it will ruin it it's pretty much just meant to take it off because it will it'll probably puncture this but you want to hand tighten it and then do it one and a quarter turns that way it's pretty snug i'm going to put the new valve on you want to hand tight on there all right it is on there right now it's pretty snug probably gonna leave it like that all right guys so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fill this thing up the filter screw it up there and like i said right there hand tight and then plus one more turn and a quarter. Yeah, this is not really necessary. I'm just gonna do it just to show you guys how the valve works. All right, so here it is. Let's see how she works. Flick, you just push this down, turn it, and there it goes. So this truck takes 10 quarts. I always buy like 11 quarts or I just buy the pack of 12. So that way I always have one around. And that way you can do stuff like this and whatever. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna let this thing drain for probably a little bit more, just make where it's just barely dribbling out. I mean, it's almost there right now. So yeah, I could probably get started just dumping the oil back in it. And then I'll do the first start and uh, we'll be done. Pretty easy stuff, guys. So I'm just going to keep these in the box. i got 10 in here. I'm going to go fill the truck up. I'll probably just put this up next to the engine there. Now I can just grab them, dump them in. I uh, will start the truck up, check all the levels, and uh, 
we should be good to go. Also guys, make sure your, your funnels are all cleaned out. Here's number 10. Alrighty. Going and we'll see. We'll see if she starts. Just kidding. Alrighty. I'll leave the engine bay open. I still gotta spray some stuff off in there. There's like mud all caked up on there. But I'm gonna grab the keys for the truck and I'm gonna start it up. Let her idle. Uh, I'll we'll check the oil here in a little bit. Hopefully it is all good. But uh, yeah, pretty easy job. Can be very messy. Yeah, I just I did it pretty fast and you know laying in all that wet the wet driveway laying on there. Um, it'd be good to have one of those creepers. Obviously, a lot of people's trucks aren't as big as this, so. That's one good thing about this truck, is it's so high you can pretty much sit underneath it. Alrighty. This thing is so nasty. Look how dirty this truck is. Alright boys. Let's start her up. Check the old oil pressure. There she is. There she is. I'm gonna let this thing run for a little bit, get a little warmed up, and then I will check the oil and see what we look like on the levels. And uh, we're pretty much done though. It's a um, pretty easy job, like I said. It's just, it can be messy. That's kind of why I went with this valve, just to see how it works. I do know it's gonna really clean the job up, especially if you get a, uh, like a little hose. Um, 3 8 I think it is, 3 8 tubing. Just run it right into the drain and you'll be, it'll be really easy. Get one of those, um, not even the pan. You probably don't even need the pan anymore. You can just do one of the ones that are just, just for disposal. So just like the handheld carry ones. I actually have one in the garage. I don't know if you can see it from here or not. All right guys, so that's what I'm talking about. I'm zooming in. Hopefully you can see that pretty good. Uh, but yeah, right there. So I could just run a 3 8 tubing into that and um, be, pretty much call it good. That way I'm not splattering anything, but um, yeah, that's just, that's probably what I'll end up doing, get some tubing for it. But, um, let me find it real quick. I will put the link to this. I, you know, I'm, this is not like a sponsorship by any, by any means. I actually just bought this. So, um, go check them out. If you have a Duramax, that is the number you want to look up. If you would focus. F106N. That's the one you want if you have a Duramax. I think they're all the same for every Duramax. I'm pretty, pretty positive. But, um. Yeah, go check them out. Obviously, you don't need to do Amsoil. That's what I use. I love them. But um, yeah, this this is this is gonna make changing the oil a lot easier. I wish there was a non-messier way of changing the oil filter because obviously it still holds oil in the oil filter, being at the angle it's at. So that will still cause a little bit of a uh, cleanup, but not too bad. If you have shop towels or uh, paper towels, you can minimize the mess. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for the people that really didn't know how to do oil changes. And for some of you guys that know how, you know, a lot of people are, were in our shoes at one point. They may have a lot of questions. They may not be comfortable doing this stuff. So hopefully this video helped you guys, you know, learn a little bit more. And so I just don't think it's necessary to bring your vehicle to someone else and they charge you just to change the oil. So I, I think you can do all this stuff at your home, especially if you have time. So, um, you know, I hope it was helpful. Those Pomodo valves, they they save a big mess. They really do. And they also cut the time down. You don't have to get tools really. Uh, pretty much all you need for tools is to, you know, break loose the oil filter. But other than that, it's just a flip of the valve and there it goes. One more thing guys, the key tags are going pretty fast and they kind of cater to one group, you know, people that own Duramaxes or people that love Duramaxes. So I am designing a key tag that's more universal for pretty much everyone. So uh, be on the lookout for that. I will be releasing the design of that here soon. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, I would really appreciate that. But um, yeah, we will see you next time.